I just, I don't want my kid <laughs> to be gone for nothing. I want, I want kids to stop being mean because my kid was so special. A St. Louis County mother in agony delivering a powerful message just days after her young son decided he could not go on. Tonight, she leveled some of the blame for his suicide on his school district. Well, Lane News 4's Alexis Zotos is here with Klaus Mueller's story and the Rockwood District's reaction that bullying is going unchecked. Alexis? Well, Corey, this mother says she recently emailed her son's school about a bullying incident. She says the district said they'd handle it. Tonight, she is facing every parent's worst nightmare, planning to bury her 13-year-old son. I can't wrap my head around the fact that I have to put my baby in a casket and put him in the ground. I can't. He was the most loving little boy. Klaus Mueller was just 13 years old. And he's always been my sidekick and I'm missing my child because I feel like they could have done more. They is the Rockwood School District. Sheila Mueller's son was in eighth grade at LaSalle Middle School. On January 6th, she emailed administrators about a bullying incident. A classmate um, came up to Klaus and said, knock, knock. And Klaus said, who's there? And he said, not your dad. And it killed Klaus. I mean, it crushed him. Klaus was just two years old when his dad committed suicide. And this past Saturday, Klaus took his own life. There was a text message on his phone that he sent to a friend that said, I would rather be dead than go to school there one more day. The Rockwood District says they have implemented several anti-bullying programs and added help to address student mental health in the last few years. We probably have more resources than any other school district around, and yet we find ourselves in this situation again. That's the piece that's really hard, that's really frustrating, and that keeps me up at night. But Terry Harris, who's in charge of Rockwood Student Services, says clearly more must be done. We, we have to continue to work that much harder so we don't find ourselves in a situation like this again. And this mother says she won't stop. She has a five-year-old in the district as well, and she doesn't want to see him suffer in the same way. They've got to do better. We are going to keep putting kids in caskets if we don't stop. The Rockwood School District is providing extra counselors at LaSalle Springs Middle School this week to help students. And another thing the district tells me that since December, they have added access to telehealth counselors for students to get even more help when it comes to mental health issues. Mm -hmm. But Sam, Corey, it is so important to know that if anyone watching is struggling themselves, that there are so many resources available. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is available 24-7. Yeah, definitely. And I just have to say brave of Terry and my heart goes out to her yeah. and her family for not only sharing that story, but sharing it so quickly yeah. after her son's death. Hopefully it makes a difference. And if you won't know somebody that's struggling or is struggling yourself, we also have more Reese's sources for you on the KMOV News app. Yeah, message parents should hear for mm -hmm. sure. All right, Alexis, thank you.